The relationship and housing are two further requirements that have to be met for a fiancé, partner or a spouse visa. The relationship part involves demonstrating that the couple are in a genuine and subsisting relationship. The evidence required differs slightly depending on which visa type you're applying for. The fiancé visa is a visa that's given for six months to allow you to get married in the UK. The most important document for that is evidence that the wedding is genuinely going to take place. Some examples of the sort of evidence that you can include is maybe a registrar's booking or even a religious ceremony booking. You could also include booking confirmations for caterers, hotels, venue and even the invitation card. If you've got family and friends coming from abroad and they've already booked their tickets, then that evidence can also be included in there. Because you are showing that it's going to be a wedding that is going to take place, you have to be free to marry ahead of time and for that you would need to provide divorce certificates for each party that was previously married. And you also really have to show the background to the relationship starting from when you first met and how the relationship progressed to the present stage. So you could include flight tickets for the very first visit how you have been speaking to one another and communication really spanning all throughout the relationship and then further visits to see one another leading up to the wedding date. The spouse or partner visa is a visa type that's granted for 33 months broken down into 30 days initially and then the rest of the duration is reflected on what's called a biometrics residence permit card which is collected once you arrive in the UK within those 30 days. The most important document for that is obviously a marriage certificate to show that you are legitimately married and also that previous relationships have broken down so divorce certificates have also to be included in there and most likely you're going to be in a relationship where you have been cohabiting abroad and if you have then you would need to include evidence of that cohabitation. It could be in the form of tenancy agreements, title deeds and also evidence of living together consistently throughout that period. The way to do that would be bills, um, any correspondence really either individually or jointly going out to the same address throughout the period that you're relying on. The common types of evidence that can be used for any of those visa categories are pictures taken together as a family unit, um, including children as well if you have any, spanning throughout the course of the relationship leading up to the date of application. A good number to have is a maximum number of 15 and annotate those with location, dates and names of the parties in the photos. You could also include letters of support from close family and friends. Be careful to select the people that have seen both of you together and can genuinely vouch for the relationship. Uh, try and avoid people that have only known about either of you through hearsay, so are only individual friends. Um, and get them to write that on a letter and include a copy of their ID. You could also include personal statements written by each of you, so that would be your partner in the UK and yourself as the applicant, covering where you met, what happened thereafter, essentially a timeline into your relationship, which will massively help the decision maker see how you met and how the relationship progressed to the present stage. That letter can also be used to cover tricky points such as when you weren't cohabiting or there's been any gaps in communication and overall it's designed to show the decision maker that the relationship was still a genuine and subsisting one despite those additional obstacles that you individually faced. The housing part involves you showing that the applicant is going to be suitably accommodated in the UK. It could be a rented property, it could be a property that is owned or it could also be a property that is given to you for free by your family or friends. Whether the property is suitably sized will depend on the number of bedrooms and living rooms in the property compared to the number of residents living there. 
The types of evidence that you would use to show accommodation depends on what you're relying on. So if the property is rented, you would show the tenancy agreement and if that tenancy agreement is just in the sponsor's name, then you would also need a letter of support from the landlord to confirm that they're happy for you to join the sponsor in the UK. If the property is owned, then you would just simply include the title deeds. If the property is provided to you free of cost by a family or a friend, then you would need two things. The first is proof of ownership of the person who is providing the property over to you. And the second thing is a letter of consent to confirm that they're happy for you to reside there as a couple and also mention for how long. You may have even heard of the term overcrowding report which is essentially a letter from the local council and it just confirms that the living space of the property is suitable for the number of residents and that inclusion of the applicant is not going to result in the property being overcrowded under the Housing Scotland Act of 1987.